morning and welcome to this Mac Hatter video on Night Cafe Studio. Um, on my website there are three beginner videos. They've been there for a while now and Night Cafe's changed somewhat. So I'm going to do some more videos on the new Night Cafe. So um, when you first open it you'll notice it's different. Yeah, you, you come straight to this page. Um, if I go create here, it will create that. So don't use that unless you want to put something in there and just try it out. Now you can click, you can click the more options button to take you here, or you can click this create button here, which takes you here. This is the main page for creating our creations. So, let's just say we want to create something. I am just in the habit of using this button here. Um, so if I hit create, here we are. This part here is um, very important. Um, just before we do that, in here you've got the settings. You can use dark theme or whatever. And there's a little intro tour there. Tour. So... The first thing you really want to do is you can try this. So you can look here what we've got. What algorithm are we using? The great thing about Night Cafe is it's been around for long, more than most. And it has access to the Stable Diffusion, DALI 2, but it also still has the same, all the clip guided and the VQ GAN and clip, the kind of original models that were out. It also has a style transfer. I'll get to that later. Um... We then can choose our different stable diffusions because we're set to stable here. If I change that to DALI 2, that bit disappears. Same with coherent. It takes you, in fact, it takes you to the old GUI for coherent. So we'll do the same for artistic. So what we'll do is we'll start um, so if you were if you wanted to create an image just from here, let's go to stable, put it to the newest stable SDXL beta, type something. The lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. What style do we want to use? And you've got all these different styles. I'm going to do something weird and just go fan. No, I'll. Just go fantasy. I always create 16 images, but I've got plenty of credits. But I feel that when you use 16, when you use the 16 images, um, you get 16 images back, which gives you more choice to then move forward if you've got more work you want to do. So that's it. That's how to use it in the most basic form. If I now hit create, it asks me if I want to confirm 12 credits for one creation, which I do. One creation being 16 images in this instance. So you can either wait here for it to be done or you can hit done and go to my creations. And you'll see it when it comes up here. There we go. So let's see how it's done. Well, that's a lion. Some nice images, but not really what I was looking for. So I would have to work on that. So once you get to here, say we wanted to duplicate, we wanted to do further work on this. Now we can make it the primary image so that if I come to my creations, it will be there. We can duplicate it with this. We can evolve it with this. We can update um, enhance it with that. We can download and we can publish. Or we can add, and we can add to the daily challenge. The daily challenge being something I'll speak about in a minute. Um, so that's it at its most basic. So now if we hit create and we come over here and we go advanced mode, now we have all the settings available to us. So we've got the line of witch and wardrobe here, but now we've got this bit here, advanced prompt editor. So if I click on that, I've got this here. I can add another prompt. Let's go wardrobe, see if we can bring out wardrobe a bit more. 
let's put that up to uh, two um, and add another prop but I'll put modifiers in and this time I won't use the presets I'll come into the big list of uh, modifiers let's see if we can get HR Geiger to affect it somewhat we'll make that pretty strong and Tim Burton make Tim pretty strong as well so all I've done is come back and put advanced mode on and added some prompts now as you can see here there's a warning SDXL so stable diffusion extra large is a bit unpredictable with multiple positive prompts we'll continue to improve it but for now we recommend using a single prompt so let's test that I'll create this let's actually just put everything back to default ones right let's see what happens again I'm just I'm leaving everything else. 16 images. We've now got these. I want it to be a widescreen. So I'll change it to that and I'll leave it as short. The line, the witch and the wardrobe. For that prompt, that is nonsense, isn't it, really? What is very weird. However, as we did get a warning saying you get... Um, weird outputs let's try this so let's cut that out of there cut that out of there extra space there for some reason and good old Tim Burton and then delete these so let's see if it makes everything else is exactly the same. Let me just make sure it's using the same seed. I don't want to touch any of that at the moment. Use a new random seed. So I'll tell it to use the same seed as last time. No, I won't. It's just no fun doing that. Let's just randomize the seeds and see what it gets. So the main difference is it'll be using different seeds, which make a slight difference to the way, or slight or great, depending on the seed to where the diffusion starts so you can get a different outcome I kind of like that right did this do any better right we've got a wardrobe I don't see a wet that could, I suppose that could be that's quite an interesting image yeah it's not really there so I don't really know basically I would need to select one and then kind of work on it somewhat but that's how you basically create an image in the new night cafe um, if we run it again I'll just show you some of the other settings so 16 images short medium and long um, as I said it's explained in another video that I did but it's how many steps it takes before it starts affecting it and I think that's 50, 100, 150 I could be wrong there though so let's put it to medium. Then you've got this overall prompt weight. No, high prompt weight with SDXL can oversaturate. So how important do we want the prompt to be? Yeah, let's put it up. I never go above 80%. Yeah, we'll use a new random seed. And if you click that, it brings it in here, which makes it a little bit more user-friendly. Right, let's see what happens this time. But do you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the prompt. And I'm going to take away those. I just want to see what it does with the basic prompt. See if it gets closer to what it's supposed to be. Okay, so it looks like all the additional stuff was making it... Because that's much more like what we want. I'm not quite sure about that one. Um, that one's quite interesting. But we definitely have more of a lion, maybe even a witch in some of these. I'm not seeing any wardrobe. So you would need to mess around with it and probably use reinforcements with multiple prompts. Maybe SDL beta is not the you know, it's not the, the, the right one to use. Let's try everything the same and use stable diffusion two point one. Okay, so using the other stable diffusion we get much better results. There, look at that one there. That's pretty much on the ball. Oh, not that one. 
Where is it? A lion, a witch. There's no wardrobe again. There's a movie poster of it. Wonder where that came from. But that seems more coherent. But again, you'd have to do loads of work on it. But anyway, that's how to get our basic image done in the new night cafe. See you in the next video.